Uh, I'm here at the Christie in Manchester, which is a world leader in cancer research and innovation. I'm delighted to say I'm joined now by Professor John Radford, uh, who is the hospital's director of research. Good morning to you, Good morning. Professor. The Christie, leader in Europe when it comes to uh, cancer research, which begs the question, when you look at the league table of countries across Europe, why England is so far down the list when it comes to cancer diagnosis, treatment and survival rates? So I think that's a big question, but it's something that really is very much in our sights. And we're wanting to improve not only in terms of research, and of course all the advances in care come from research, and that's why we're so focused on it, but also in terms of the quality of care. Mm -hmm. And so here at the Christie we're focused on those two things. Best care, best research, intertwined to give the best outcome that we possibly can for patients. And we hope that as a result of those efforts, then our position in the league tables will rise. Mm -hmm. And, of course, that's what we all really want to see. Yeah, you're working really hard here at the Christie and you deliver excellent care. People travel from mm -hmm. far and wide mm -hmm. to be treated here. But it's not a picture. The Christie isn't a picture replicated up and down the country. There is no sort of uniform care for cancer. Well, I'm not sure I agree with that. I think that um, there are plans in place, there are protocols that are used up and down the country. Um, and so people in the NHS can be assured that the way in which breast cancer or lung cancer or lymphoma is treated in various parts of the country is treated in a uniform way. Now it's certainly the case that certain advances and certain trials and studies won't be done everywhere. Mm. But is that, that why is survival rates and diagnosis right, rates fluctuate up and down the country? Well, I think the, the survival rates do um, depend on a whole lot of factors, mm. uh, including uh, time to presentation with symptoms, the speed at which things are done in the clinic, but also the amount of deprivation that people face and the amount of uh, smoking that occurs in patients in that particular area. So we are focused really very much on trying to improve the way in which people can access services, the way in which those services respond to people and what's going on in Manchester now with the uh, Devo Mank uh, project is for us to link up in a very effective way between all parts of the health service so that general practice, hospitals, social care all become, become part of the solution mm. and delivering the best outcomes that we possibly can. We've been hearing from the head of the NHS here on Sunrise this morning and he said he is going to make funding for cancer care and mental health a priority. Another argument is making funding for prevention mm -hmm. of all types of diseases, education, stopping uh, people from getting these, um, sim uh, these illnesses in the first place. That should be made a priority. What's your view on that? I think that's really important and in fact that's one of our real interests at the moment is in terms of focusing on prevention, screening, early detection. Yeah. Getting people involved in understanding what is important in terms of their lifestyle that can really reduce the risk of developing not just cancer but other yeah. major causes of mortality in this country. And so treating disease is one thing and it's what we do all the time but preventing it in the first place yeah. is absolutely where we should be going and I'm sure that's going to be a feature over the next several years and decades for the NHS. And Professor just one final question if I may a lot of research is done here pioneering treatments and this is all very expensive so it's all very well and good having the new medicines to treat mm -hmm. cancer and the new treatments can the NHS afford it? So another difficult question and of course funding never seems to be enough but we've got to make sure that every pound which is taxpayer pound is spent in the most efe efficient and effective way. We really have a mission to try and squeeze every value that we can get out of all the money that is provided for us and of course we could always do with more but the, work, the, the future is about using that efficiently and effectively and trying to make sure that those sorts of benefits that we can derive from research are really translated into improving outcomes for individual people with cancer. Mm. Professor John Rudd, really interesting to talk to you this morning. Thank you for coming to see us here Thank on you. Sunrise. Uh, we're going to head over to Wimbledon now. Are you a tennis fan? Um, I am, but I won't be there. You won't be there. You'll be here doing important research. <laughs> I understand that, just in case any of his bosses are watching. Uh, shock news last night. Andy Murray out of the tournament. Jackie is there Thank for you. us this morning. Thank you.